Hey everybody, welcome to class. My name is Alexis. I have a really special class for you today. We're going to be doing a new moon slow flow. You've probably heard of Surya, Namaskar, A, B, or C. Those are our sun salutations. Today we're going to be doing what's known as a Chandra Namaskar, which is a moon salutation. So instead of going through down dogs and planks and a ton of back bends, we're going to be working almost in a circle on our mats. Um, for these are perfect for the new moon, any any phase of the moon really. But this is for the new moon when the moon is hidden away from view. We can't see her. She kind of evokes an energy of, of hiding and relaxing, um, a chance to take a step back, get some rest, some rejuvenation. And so that's what we're going to do today. You don't need any props unless you would like um, a set of blocks for some low lunges we're going to be doing later. Um, I am going to have a blanket to pad my knees, so we're going to be doing a little bit, a little bit of work on our knees. But otherwise, go ahead and just come to stand into Dasana. Make sure your feet are hip-width apart. Your hips are stacked over your ankles. Shoulders are stacked over your hips. Hands by your sides. Go ahead and close your eyes. And take a few deep breaths to center yourself here. If you want, you can kind of rock forward onto your toes, the balls of your feet over to the right edge of your feet, back onto your heels, over to the left edges of your feet, just so you can find your center. Imagine you have roots coming out of your feet, extending into the ground, stabilizing you, anchoring you here in this moment and in this practice. Beautiful. On your next inhale, go ahead and sweep your arms down, around and up. Grab your right wrist, and we're just going to bend over to the left. Nothing real crazy here. Inhale up to center. Grab your left wrist. Exhale over to the right. Let's do one more each way, grabbing your right wrist, bending over to the left. Coming up to center, grabbing your left wrist, and bending over to the right. Beautiful. Come up to center. And bring your arms so you're clasping opposite elbows, just over your head. You might want to widen your stance for this. I usually like to. What you're going to do is you're going to inhale to lengthen your spine, and then you're going to exhale, bending to the right as much as you can. And when you can't anymore, you're just going to let yourself go and swing around in a circle, coming back up to center. We'll do three more like this. A uh, micro bend in your knees definitely helps. <sighs> And exhale when you drop down to the ground. So bending over to the right, exhaling, and lifting yourself back up. Let's do one more. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, bending to the right, bending your knees a little bit, exhaling, and coming back up. Beautiful. We'll do that the other direction. If you can, switch the clasp of your elbows. I know that probably feels really weird, but we're just going to go with it. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, bend gently over to the left. Bend as much as you can, and then release, exhale, and swing up around. Beautiful. Three more. Stretching over as far as you can, and releasing down, and swinging back up. If you haven't caught on yet, we're doing these little circle movements to symbolize the moon and her circular energy. The moon, of course, works in phases over the course of 28 days. Beautiful. Go ahead and release your arms. Come to the front of your mat. And like I said, no down dogs in this class. This is a really easy, gentle flow. So inhale your arms down right now. And exhale, fold forward, keeping your knees bent. This is a uh, more restorative forward fold, so I don't really care about how close you can get your head to your knees here. I want you to bend your knees, relax into it, and you'll feel a little bit more of a stretch in your glutes and your low back. Beautiful. On your next inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale back down. We're going to start with our left leg first. So send your left leg back, curl your toes under, so we're in a runner's lunge. Like I said, if you want blocks for this, you can. Keeping your right knee over your ankle. Firm up your foundation, and come on up into your high lunge. Beautiful. Take a few 
few breaths here. This is a pretty short flow. Just a little something to welcome in the energy of the new moon. Go ahead and plant your back foot. So you're kind of opening up into warrior two. Straighten your front knee. This is a little tricky, so don't worry. Swing your right toes so they're at a 40 degree angle. Open up your left toes so they're at a 40 degree angle. And you come into star pose with your arms overhead. Sink down into goddess. Beautiful. Inhale back up. Make sure your feet, fold your feet in so they're parallel to the edges of your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward. Beautiful. Swing gently side to side here. Your next inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, gently bend the knees, roll up to standing. And we're going to go to the left with our high lunge. So you're going to fold your left, or fold, you're going to turn your left toes to face the left side of your mat, the back edge of your mat. You're going to pivot, if you need to use a wall like I just did, you can, your back toes so they're curled under, coming into your high lunge. Uh-huh, fancy, right? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot forward into your forward fold. Swing gently side to side. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step your right foot back into your runner's lunge again. Coming up in your high lunge. Beautiful. Opening up to just warrior two as a transition. So we're keeping our feet parallel to the edge of the mat, and then we're going to turn our toes so they're 40 degrees. Inhale, arms up overhead, and exhale down into goddess pose, just for a breath here. Inhale, straighten, turn your right toes to face the mat, pop your left foot so your toes are curled underneath, and sink down into your high lunge. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Plant your hands, step your left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And gently roll up to Tadasana. Pretty easy. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to be facing away from you. Um, and we're going to do it a little bit faster. So, inhale your hands down, round it up. Exhale, fold forward, keeping a bend in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down and step your right foot back into your runner's lunge, making sure your left knee is over your ankle. Lift up into your high lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale. Straighten your front knee. Pivot your feet so that they're at 40 degrees. Come to face the front of your mat, or the back of your mat, rather, excuse me. Inhale your hands down and around and up, and sink into your back's pose. Beautiful. Inhale to straighten. Pivot the feet so they're parallel to the short edges of your mat. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, fold forward. Take a deep breath in here. Let it out. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Gently bend your knees and slowly roll up. Continuing going to the right, we're going to pivot our right toes so they're facing the back of our mat. Pivoting our left toes so they're curled underneath us. Coming back into our high lunge. Hold here. Just for a moment. Exhale, plant the hands, step your left foot forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down, stepping the left foot back into your runner's lunge. Inhaling up to high lunge. Ooh, maybe using a wall to balance <laughs> like I just did. Beautiful. Inhale your right, inhale, wow, 
excuse me, inhale both legs straight, pivot your feet so you're facing the side of your mat. Make sure your feet are at a 40 degree angle, your toes are facing the corners of your mat, inhale your arms up, and sink down into goddess pose. Take a full breath here. Inhale to straighten, and continuing on to the left, pivot your left toes, they're facing the front of your mat, turn your back foot, your right foot, so your toes are popped underneath you, and come into your high lunge. Beautiful. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot forward into your forward fold, ducking your uh, chin into your chest. Lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold, and gently roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Great job. We're just going to make our way down to the floor now. So inhale your hands down around and up. Exhale forward fold, keeping the knees bent. Exhale, plant your hands and step your feet and your knees back. So you come into tabletop. Beautiful. Hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, pressing down into your mat through your knuckles. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Then pick up your right knee. Bring your right foot in between your hands, coming up into low lunge. And it doesn't need to be a super low lunge here. We're not going for gymnastics level stretchability here. Just breathe. And this is where if you wanted blocks, you could have them right here, because from here, we're gonna plant our hands, straighten our right leg and push our hips back, coming into our half split. Continue to breathe. Feel the stretch all along your back leg, through the back of your leg, excuse me. Inhale forward to lunge, and watch me carefully. You're gonna walk your hands so they're on the left side of your uh, right leg. You're gonna pivot your left <laughs> leg behind you, so it kind of comes to tuck underneath you. And then you're just gonna sink down. This is called a half goddess lunge. Now, if this is a little inaccessible for you, you can always take a block and pop it under your butt, just like that. You get the same, same benefits. I'm going to be down all the way down on the ground. You can just, you can relax your hands at heart center. You can relax your hands in Gaya Mudra and just breathe, allowing yourself to feel the stretch allowing your core to work. This is a little bit of a balance. Beautiful. Go ahead and lift yourself up. Swing your, your left leg back so it's straight with the mat, coming back into our little lunge. Well done, I know that's a bit of a tricky transition, but you did great. Plant your hands down on the mat, bring your right knee back, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So bring your left knee forward, planting your left foot between your hands, coming up into your low lunge. Beautiful. Plant your hands, straighten your left leg, push your hips back, or half splits. And if you're looking for more of a sensation here, you can always uh, pick up your front foot and lift it a little bit forward to make sure that your hips are over your knees. That'll help you get a little bit more of a stretch here rather than if you were just way back here. Beautiful. Come back into your lunge. And the, this is the tricky transition, so just follow along. Bring your hands to the right side of your uh, left leg. Pivot your right knee so your foot comes underneath you and sit down onto your right foot. And again, you can use a block here if you need to. Hands can be at heart center. They could be resting in front of you to help you hold your balance. Whatever you need today. And just breathe here. You can close your eyes if you like. Thank you. 
Beautiful. Go ahead and lift yourself up. Pivot your right leg so it's back uh, parallel to your mat. We're coming back up into our little lunge. You did great. So plant your hands, come back into tabletop. And if you do have a blanket, I'm going to use mine so it's positioned under my hips because I have very bony hips. And we're just going to come down onto our bellies. Beautiful. Stack your hands, rest your forehead on the mat, kind of wiggle your hips side to side. Rep, let your hand rest on your right hand. Reach your left leg back and bend your left knee. Reach for your foot and see if you can get a nice quad stretch. It doesn't matter how much you're stretching here. If you have a strap, you can always wrap it around your foot and pull your foot closer to your bum. And if you feel any pain in your knee here, obviously let it go. Beautiful. Release that side. Place your left hand under your forehead. Reach your right hand back and pull your foot to your bum. Beautiful. Continuing to breathe here. go. And now we're going to come into what's known in yin yoga anyways as seal pose. So plant your hands just underneath your shoulders and plant them kind of wide. I have mine off my mat on my hardwood floor. What you're going to do is press the tops of your feet into the mat, press your hips into the mat, traction your abs back to your spine and on an inhale lift yourself up. So it's a little bit like a cobra pose but it's a wider stance. It's a little bit of a deeper back bend. Breathe here. This is a great one to open up your, the front of your body to work your lower back muscles a little bit. Doing great. Go ahead and exhale, release it back to the ground. Curl your toes underneath you. And press yourself back into a narrow or a wide leg child's pose. Have any props or a blanket, go ahead and move them out of the way, come up out of child's pose. And we're just going to gently swing our legs in front of us, planting your feet, reaching in front of you. You guys know where this is going. And gently roll back down, one vertebra at a time, onto your back. You can windshield wipe with the legs side to side. And then release your legs, stretching them out. Your hands and arms can rest at your sides, or one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Close your eyes for Shavasana.
begin to deepen your breath, wiggling your fingers and toes, making circles with the wrists and the ankles. You can reach your arms up overhead for a full body stretch if you like. And then gently push yourself up to a seated position. Go ahead and open your eyes. And we're just going to finish this practice with a few rounds of Nadi Shodhana, also known as alternate nostril breathing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand, um, fold down your uh, first, your pointer finger and your middle finger. Um, and we're going to start with the right nostril. Bear with me. Right, and lungs are hard. Go ahead and cover, oh no, excuse me, we're starting with our left. Go ahead and use your thumb to cover your right nostril. Inhale through your left. Block both of them up. Release your thumb and exhale out the right. Inhale through the right nostril. Block it off with your thumb. Release your left nostril and exhale through your left nostril. Continue that, inhaling through your left nostril and exhaling through your right. And then inhaling through your right to exhale through your left. Continue that a few more times on your own breath. Wherever you are, when you take your next inhale through your right nostril and exhale through your left, release your hand to your mat or to your lap. Take a deep breath in with both the nostrils wide open. Exhale it out. Bring your hands to heart center and gently open your Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope this practice was rejuvenating, relaxing even, maybe, um, and maybe something that you've never tried before. If you liked this, I would love to do more classes associated with the faces of the moon um, or anything really in, regarding the seasons or the moon. I love to do yoga with the phases of the moon and also with the season. So let me know if that's something you would want to see again. Make sure you like this video. if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. I post a new class every Thursday um, and occasionally supplemental ones throughout the week as well. Anyways, until next time, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again on the mat soon.